So who's this? Dexter. Yeah. MK2. So cool. I love his little eyes. Speaking of which, I phoned you up because uh, we got a tip from the Matrix team today and they've built something really exciting that I think we've both thought about building before. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we both thought about building the bowler hat from Meet the Robinsons. We did. Yeah, we actually talked about that once, but we just never got around to it. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like a, a bowler hat with like a little eye on it and some little spidery legs and stuff. And everyone's got their own idea about like how it should be built. Mm -hmm. But it turns out the Matrix team went and did it. Do you want to see? Of course. Cool. It seems like you'd be the perfect person to, to respond to this. So, uh, <laughs> do, do. Oh, first up, this is like the video we did yesterday about a bunch of creepy animatronics. Here is today's main event. Da -da -da! <laughs> Look at oh, it. He did it. <laughs> he actually did it. <laughs> that's so adorable. Oh, that's so great. I love how it's mounted on a little other hat. Like, cause that's something that I wouldn't have known how to do is like how to make it move around and stuff. They did a really good job. I love the Matrix voice. Like I really need to sit down and like upgrade a few things using the Matrix voice, probably Dexter when he's finally done. Oh, yeah. There's so many different robot brains to decide from. It's so hard to choose. So speaking of Dexter, do you want to talk about his eyes there? Uh, sure. I mean, this is the same eye program I use for all my other robots. It just kind of looks around, some sort of random eye movement. I use LED matrix. Uh, I get them off of Amazon. They, they're pretty cheap. So I could buy like a bundle of them and use them for a whole bunch of different things. They're pretty great, honestly. They show a lot of emotion for just randomly moving around and looking around. Yeah, seriously. And they actually borrowed your code uh, for, your, for your eye on this project as well. So like they reference your an original Anansi robot companion tutorial. Finally, yeah. someone did it. I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> this is from March of this year, but I think you've had this for longer than that. Oh, you know? yeah. That was my first write-up, believe it or not. Um, yeah. and it took me forever to like actually sit down and like write it out and do everything because I wanted to make it as easy and as perfect as I could. So I did a whole bunch of stuff and took a lot of pictures and tried to explain it to the best of my ability. Yeah, you got a ton of love for this, and rightly so. I'm hoping that these, oh, I'm going to give the first rec respect. Ha, awesome. And this is, yeah, this is set up with the... Uh, matrix voice so they're telling you how to do that kind of stuff and apparently what it does is it just like fixates on whatever the loudest audio source is because it's got this mic array that you can see here that's like seven or eight microphones on there and then the eye which is just your design so i cute. really am exci excited for all of this i bet it's so cool <sighs> and someone also um someone yeah i saw it this morning i was at work yeah. and you tagged me in it and i was like oh that's so freaking cool i'm it's so, so cute I am so happy to see wearable robotics be getting some really serious momentum. I'm loving everyone's like ideas and designs because the hand is perfect. Like I would have never thought of that. Like that's so clever. It's so such a good little Adams family nod. Like what if you were gonna build that hand? Like what would you do with it? What would you make it do? Give me a massage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, was, I thought about that when I was at work and I was thinking that I would probably just make it like move a bit like go like this and then maybe like move his little hand fingers a bit just maybe oh, side yeah, to side totally. if yeah. you had like the thumb anchored like I can't see what they're doing there but if you had like the thumb anchored, thumb anchored yeah. switch just, just like a little bit super subtle that would be super yeah just super small little movement or maybe even like scratch your face a bit like trying to get your attention like oh my uh, god yeah. that's brilliant <laughs> Something, something really small, but something really cool that can do a lot. I think that's how you get the best creepy effect, honestly. Like, is if it looks super normal, and then every once in a while you're just like, oh my god, did that thing move? <laughs> oh, yeah. The funny thing about that is I've been setting up all my animatronics, and since, I, this is going to be super nerdy, but since Disney's having their new streaming service coming out, um, I looked at a lot of their YouTube videos for animatronics, and I've been studying the Imagineers type of way, and it's like very subtle ways to give a character or a machine life, and it's super, super interesting. That's brilliant. What are some, what have you picked up? Uh, well, one of the things I picked up was when you're designing an animatronic, you're actually like bringing a character to life. So you want to think about like what movements can actually make a character seem more alive, right. which 
is what I've been using as like, idea wise. Like when I redesigned uh, Dexter here, I actually made his ears move because I saw that. Yeah, you've got little linkages. Yeah, his little linkages in the back of his head now. Oh my goodness. And when he looks around, his ears move now, which I find adorable because it's just like so random and gives him so much more random character. It's super expressive. Did you 3D print the ears as well? Yep. That's so clean. How do you get them so clean? I'm so jealous. Much practice and time and loss of sleep. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, I'm going to let you go, but thanks for joining us for a quick second to talk oh, about yeah, the, no. the robots. No problem. I'm hoping to see more. I, I know uh, SuperCon's coming up and other people are making their own like ideas. I'm really, really excited to see what other people come up with. Everyone, you can follow Jay and his robot adventures on twitter.com slash odd underscore Jay. Uh, and if you want to see the uh, guy who designed the hat, you can follow him as well. He works at Adafruit now. His name is John yeah. Victor Park. He's super cool. I also follow so, him. Yeah. So much expertise. Like, look at this ridiculous blaster here. Oh. Oh, the Lucio gun from Overwatch. He designed it. It took him, like, looked like forever. He, everything's 3D printed. Like, uh, the guy's amazing. The guy's amazing. 100%. So good. And be sure to check out Doris the Evil Bowler Hat on Hackster. Yeah! All right. Happy Halloween, Jay. Happy Halloween. Have an awesome one, Joe. Laters. <laughs>